So a 21-year-old man has avoided jail after raping a 13-year-old girl when he was 17 years old. Yes, instead of a prison sentence, the judge handed Sean Hogg 270 hours of community service in line with new guidelines in Scotland recommending that under-25s aren't sent to prison. Among those condemning the ruling is author J.K. Rowling, who's tweeted, Progressive Scotland 2023, where a man gets no jail time for raping a 13-year-old girl in a park. Young Scottish men are effectively being told, first time's free. Well, Emma Jane Taylor, campaigner and founder of Project 9010, is also outraged and she joins us in the studio now. Well, good morning to you, Emma Jane. Good really morning. good to have you with us. I mean, this is a truly shocking story. Shocking. Your response to the story and J.K. Rowling's comments as well. I think, you know, when you look at it, it's an ill-considered sentence. Mm. It's not comparable to what the victim is now going to endure and face for the rest of their life. You just said there, 270 hours of community service. You break that down on an eight-hour day, that's 34 days, one month community service. It's not... It's just not comparable. And I come from a survivor point, the victim point, and we have to change the focus in these sentences to be focused on victim. It needs to be victim-led. It needs to look at the survivor, that young girl, that 13-year-old girl. Where's her rehab? Where's her healing? Where's her therapy? We haven't heard that. We've been hearing about the perpetrator, what he's been going through and, you know, what he's going to be doing with the community service while sweeping the streets and gardening. I mean, I, I'd be happy to go out and do that myself. That's not a sentence. It's not a punishment. It makes you wonder sometimes whose side the law was on. These new guidelines were introduced to take into effect that the brain isn't fully developed until you're 24 years of age. Yet in Scotland, when you're 16, you can effectively, they've been encouraged to change gender. You can vote, you can vote. in Scotland when you're 16 and you can become even a member of the Scottish Parliament. Yet they're saying a 17-year-old boy cannot take account of his own um, actions under rape. This is a terrible message to send out, isn't it's it? It's terrible. I spoke to a friend of mine, David Breakspear. He's a prison reform mentor. He can't understand it either. The criminal responsibility starts at 12 in Scotland, 10 in the UK. As you say, 16 to be able to vote, mm. 25 when you get sentenced. That's years and years and years. I mean, you work, this, this sentence or this punishment, or, or you know, it's not even that. I mean, you just, it's, it's no a bit fluffy, isn't it? Mm. It's opened up. I feel it's a green light for rapists now under the age of 25. And you talk about brain developed. Some people, some, some scientists say it's not even till late 20s, later than 25. Yet you can do all of these things and you can have responsibility at 16. Um, and uh, this is... This is People, the locals are up in arms. They've contacted me. We've co contacted Owen Thompson. Um, there's a rapist walking around in Scotland now. Mm. And they know there's a rapist walking around in Scotland. Who's going to protect those children? Who's going to protect those young girls now? Mm. This is a story that I think is going to upset many, many people. Um, as you said, you, you come at this from a victim's standpoint. I mean, for you, for somebody who's been found guilty of rape, what is the correct sentence for such a heinous crime? Should it be a long prison sentence? Should there be a focus on rehabilitation or education in, in prison? What, what do you think is justice? When you look at the 13-year-old who has had their childhood stripped, mm. they're not going to have the childhood that they were born for, the life that they had looked forward to in their future. Their life has been taken. I think the only uh, sensible sentence for a rapist is life. You know, do you think this is um, a direction of travel that's really concerning? In terms of women's rights, we seem to be going backwards. Um, cases such as this, um, we're talking about um, a new law coming in today from Rishi Sunak about biological women rather than gender, which would seem to be common sense um, because that allows um, men who've gone through a transition. We saw in Scotland the case of a rapist who was allowed into a women's prison. Um, biological men allowed into women's sports, allowed into their changing rooms, even to rape crisis centres. What would you say about uh, to this... Uh, it feels to me a huge erosion of women's rights. Why is this happening? There seems to be all this, uh, everyone's got to be PC about everything now, haven't they? They've got to approach it in a, you know, a very careful way because they don't want to offend people. But they're looking not to, they're looking, they're looking at it at the wrong angle. They're worried about <laughs> offending perpetrators. And we need to change that back. And like I said uh, at the beginning of this, we need to be victim-led. That needs to look 
at the seriousness of victims from uh, cases, rape cases, child sexual abuse, child rape. We need to look at that. And then once we start looking at that, then maybe the sentencing, maybe all these conversations could really change direction because there's a bigger awareness on the fact that children have their life stripped from them. Um, and that goes on. Dissociation, uh, delayed onset of maturity, ab reactions, PTSD, complex trauma. It goes on and on and on and on. It's not 12 weeks of therapy that's going to fix someone who's gone through trauma, such as rape, child sexual abuse. It's a lifelong uh, healing process. Mm. Emma Jane Taylor, Project 9 to 10. Amen to that. Wonderfully passionate opinion there. Thank you for joining Thank us you. today. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much.